What's the sound of your Facebook news feed? Crickets? Hey there, I'm Tracy from tracyrose.com and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to get rid of those crickets on your social media news feed and how you can actually generate a whole ton of engagement on Facebook. So I'm going to give you 10, but actually you can get a whole lot more because I've actually taken some of these from a huge valuable download from my friend Jen Johnson. If you go to her website meetjenjohnson.com, over there, don't go yet, you will find a downloadable cheat sheet which is 44 social media posts that will kill crickets in your newsfeed. So I've taken 10 of those which I'll share with you right now because you need to get started with these. So the first type of post that I'm going to suggest to you, you kind of need something like this. <laughs> a furry friend. So furry friend posts gets lots of engagement. So it could be your own pet. This is Daisy, the marketing cat, or <laughs> who is very grumpy, which is not unusual. Or it could be a friend's dog that you're walking, or it could... <laughs> okay, she's really cranky. Now the number two type of social media post that will kill crickets in your newsfeed is a you feel me kind of post, okay? So like struggle, so maybe like a parenting struggle. I know that I struggle to get kids out in the morning and looking like half decent and not being totally frazzled. And so I could post something about that and be like, oh my God, do you feel me? <laughs> and that's gonna get engagement because you feel me kind of posts are completely relatable. Travel posts are always amazing. People love to see people traveling around the world, if not have a little bit of jealousy that they're not doing it as well, but it definitely causes engagement in your posts. Now, don't be afraid to promote what you're doing. I don't know about you, I know that a lot of people are like, no, you've got to have your business and private life separate. But my business um, is my passion and it is part of my life. So of course I'm gonna share some of that. Now don't be a spammer with it because there is nothing worse than becoming friends with someone and all they do is bloody post about their business over and over and over, okay? You don't want that. You don't wanna be the spammer friend, okay? <laughs> so think about like the 80-20 rule. Now tip number five is what I'm doing right now. I'm literally spotlighting someone else. I'm doing this video and I'm pretty much like, hey, this is where I got it. Jen Johnson's an amazing marketer. You definitely need to go download the rest of the social media posts because she has a fantastic download. Or it could even just be like a general post. It doesn't have to be a video. It could be a general post of you congratulating someone on their results. It could be just saying how much they helped you today or just how, about how much you love their attitude or sharing something about them. You're spotlighting someone else. Now, what this does is, I'm not sharing about Jen Johnson and telling you how wonderful she is because I want her to reciprocate. It's not about that. What I want is I want to build a culture around me of people that celebrate others. Whoop, whoop. Number six is breakthroughs that you have. Now this could be a personal breakthrough. Just share that personal breakthrough because it could help someone else or it could be even a techie breakthrough, or it could be a parenting breakthrough, and you could share a tip that you learned or some just realization that you've had. Now the next one is share a story. So share something about your life. Let me give you an example. So the last six months I've kind of struggled with my daughter. She's had some really full on health challenges and I was trying to kind of like always hold it together and look like I was like, you know, super mom. But you know what? Life is life and there's going to be ups and downs in that and I thought I would just share people what I've been going through and in fact it was a picture of my daughter and I and what has happened and how I've struggled to I guess support her emotionally and even and my own emotional health had been rocked because of the stress that we'd been under. And it was pretty amazing because I had so many people reach out to me. I also had over 200 reactions on that post, over 100 comments, and it was just, um, I guess people got an insight into my life that they hadn't realized. Now life updates is another one. I'm gonna point out my teeth right now, okay? I was actually afraid to share this, okay? I was trying to hide this from the world as well. But I was really embarrassed because I had, um, I had some trouble with a couple of teeth and I had to get two removed and they're in spots like they're sort of around here and he obviously can't see them now. Um, but it really affected my confidence doing videos, hello, and my smile. 
and I really didn't like the fact that they had basically, um, I had ruined my smile through not looking after myself and a few other reasons, but I was really embarrassed about it. Moving forward though, I decided to share. And of course it is relatable, okay? Now people know that I'm on this journey because at the moment I've got this plate thing, okay? So it's like this, uh, it's a clear thing, okay? And it's got some temporary teeth in it so that I can look like, yay, I have a nice full smile again. But of course, this is gonna take months, this whole journey, it's gonna cost a lot of money. <laughs> and so what I've been doing in the meantime is just updating when I've been going to the dentist, hey guys, I got my new thing, I've got teeth, you know, confidence, my smile confidence is restored. And all these people are commenting, going, good on you, looking after yourself, or, oh my God, I lost my teeth too, or, oh, that's so painful. Or, so it's, it's, it's created so much engagement by me being vulnerable and sharing something originally that I was quite embarrassed about. So now I'm updating people because they're keeping up with the story. <laughs> all right, we got two more. Another one is toys. People love sharing toys. Now for me, toys is kind of technology stuff so i know when i get a new phone i get a new computer or perhaps you get a new car like share that and celebrate that on social media because that is relatable you will definitely get engagement and number 10 the most important is to do videos i can't even imagine actually getting any business if i didn't do videos like i really think you don't have to work as hard <laughs> if you do videos because people really engage with you so much quicker and there's this relatability there's this trust factor there's this credibility factor that just goes sky high when you start doing videos even if you don't have results of course i didn't have results in the beginning but immediately because i'd done a video um people felt like they knew me add videos to your marketing strategies add videos in your social media news feeds and you will absolutely kill crickets in your social media newsfeed. When you get that engagement up, when you have people liking, knowing, trusting you, they will what? Buy from you. It's all about the connection. Connection is currency. So take these social media posts, and if you want the other 34, because Jen Johnson has put a whole group together in a downloadable cheat sheet on her website at meetjenjohnson.com, 44 social media posts that will kill crickets in your newsfeed, go and download that as well. So I hope this has helped you, and if you want any more advice or tips and strategies, I have lots of videos over at my website, tracyrose.com, that will help you build your business, get seen online, and help Help you build a network marketing team from home. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My own emotional. emotional <laughs>